without further ado, I'm really excited to be here to see these startup teams. Some of them I already know, some of them I've seen them grow in recent years, doing really exciting stuff. These 10 teams have competed against 3,500 other applicants that we received this year, which is just insane. More than 50% of those applicants came from outside of Spain, so it's really starting to internationalize at this point, and these are the final 10. The winner of the segment we're going to announce just before lunchtime, about 10 past two today, and the winner will be presenting this evening in the grand finale on the arena stage this afternoon. So a lot at stake and excited to see how you guys are getting on. So without further ado, I'm going to get the first startup up on stage. Stage. It's Reclamador, it's Pablo Remanal, and this offers online legal services, ex uh, accessible justice for all with a click. Pablo, todo tuyo. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Pablo Rabanal. I'm going to ask you three quick questions. Who has ever had a reason to claim against a bank, an airline, telco? Okay. Who join forces with people with the same claim <coughs> to claim with somebody else? Raise your hand. Just a few over there. Okay, and who believes we'll have more chances of winning if they join forces with thousands of people that are facing the same problem? Okay, it's common sense. And uh, we, believe, we believe the same thing and we call it crowd complaining. What we are is an online legal services company that help consumers defend their rights against uh, big institutions and corporations. And we're based on two principles. First of all, we are purely online. And second of all, we work on a success fee basis. We are operating in Spain for the time being, and uh, we're beginning to look abroad at, at, at this time, too. Behind us, uh, we have some of the main investors of the, of the Spanish startup ecosystem. We just did one funding round. This was back in 2013, and it was led uh, by Caviel and Partners among others. We have quite a senior team. Uh, marketing, Carlos, he's coming from uh, Google and EY. Uh, Ramiro is head of legal. He's the former uh, legal services director of the county of Madrid. Cristobal, who's here, former uh, chief of communications in 20. Uh, Juan, CTO, previously CTO of two startups. Uh, I was previously CEO of BWIN Retail. Uh, Rafa, the COO, uh, he was previously general manager of HomeAway. And Nacho in business development, he's coming from uh, KPMG and, and Pricewaterhouse. So far, 70% uh, of the claims that airlines receive are coming from us. We are also responsible for 13% of the mercantile court proceedings of the whole country, of this country. We have one, <laughs> 150,000 clients. We have recouped 20 million euros for them already in their pockets. And we have 33 more million in court that they will receive at, at some stage. And we also have 9% of brand recognition without doing any offline advertising. We put it down to numbers. Our CAGR of the past years, it's uh, almost 62%. This year, we will recoup 11 million for our customers, uh, revenues of uh, 4.5 million euros. And and we also have 9 million euros as of today in fees that depend on, on the courts of, of, of Spain that, but that, that we will receive at, at some point. We're claiming against airlines, we're claiming against banks, we're claiming against insurance companies, we're claiming against city halls, and we will claim against many, many other things, both in Spain and, and, outside, and outside Spain. Uh, we won Seed Rocket in 2012. Um, we're members of Endeavor. We've been finalists of several contests too as well. We're in the press uh, every week, I would say almost every day too. And what we learn is that uh, having a lawyer is no longer a, a luxury. People have a low claiming culture, but they're learning really, really fast and they like to claim and they like to receive the money. It, it's about money and it's also about emotions. Uh, there's poor online competitions. We are the only player offering a digital service in the market. And we have a success rate of over 95%. Uh, it just takes time to, to get the money because it depends on, on the courts, but we get the money at the end. Excellent, Pablo. We're just going to have to Yeah, yeah, no, yes. We're have focusing have now on a, on, a, on a property opportunity. If you have a mortgage, your bank owes you money. If you sold your house, your city hall owes you money. So we're looking for funding, uh, 2.7 .7 million, part of equity funding, uh, and part to fund our working capital. And that's it. Thank you very much. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Good job. Stay there, stay with us, because we're going to take a question from the jury. Good job. Any question from the jury? Crystal clear? Putting your money in immediately? Excellent. Yeah.
think. Hello. You said you don't uh, do much in terms of uh, marketing. Can you elaborate in a little bit on how you capture customers? Um, well, we actually spend almost a million euros in marketing, but it's on online marketing. What, we know, what we've not done so far, it's offline marketing. And uh, uh, we mainly spend our, our marketing budget in uh, AdWords and social networks. And uh, we also do some offline actions, like going to the airport and inform passengers of, of the rights. Excellent. Thanks, Pablo. We're going to have to leave it there, because we have another 19 is coming okay. through. Thanks, Thank Malik. Good job. Thank you. Next up, we have Ferran, CEO and co-founder of Carnova, a smart way to buy a new car. Ferran, todo tuyo. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here this morning. Uh, before I start my presentation, let me show you world premiere of our TV campaign, which will be live in 10 days. OK. Now? Perfect. So here we go. Please video. Pensando comprar un coche nuevo? Acompáñeme. Visitaremos unos cuantos concesionarios. Un momento. Esto es cosa del pasado. Mejor entra en carnovo.com y configura tu coche. En menos de 24 horas recibirás las mejores ofertas de cientos de concesionarios oficiales. Compara y ya lo tienes. Carnot, la nueva manera de comprar tu coche nuevo. So, uh, what do we do at Carnot? At Carnot, we aim to transform the automotive purchase process. And you will say, yeah, it's a perfect thing to put in a PowerPoint presentation, but how are you going to do this? We want to make it transparent, uh, we want to make it fast, and we want to make it convenient. Yeah? So, I don't know why this is coming again, guys. OK, I will keep on, on going here. Uh, so I'm not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, but it's moving without doing anything. Yeah, OK. So I hope the time will keep for me. Um, so how does it work today? We know Carlos. Carlos wants to buy a car, so this journey starts. Uh, he talks to his wife, and he says, OK, let's, do, let's, let's go for buying a car. What he, what he does is they visit the dealer, and when they are the dealer, they start negotiating with the salesman. It's, it's a little bit uh, a pain, yeah? So the next week, they do the same. They go to the next dealer, they compare the offers, and they have again the negotiation with the dealer. And this, they keep doing this again and again. After three weeks, yeah, sure, they buy the car. Yeah, but are they happy? I would say no, yeah? At Carnovo, uh, we put Carlos at the center of the process, yeah? How do we do this? Carlos wants to buy a car again, yeah? He can do it from home. He goes at the, at the sofa. Uh, and once he, he's at the sofa, he has, just needs to configure the car. And once he configures the car, in less than 24 hours, he gets five offers from five different dealers which are fighting for him. Yeah? He can uh, show the, the offers by reviews, quality of reviews, of course by price, yeah? and of course also by distance. If he wants to negotiate furthermore, or he wants to have some questions, he can do it through our platform with a salesman. Yeah? And of course it's anonymous, so he doesn't need to, to give details. At the end, he buys the car, and we can tell you by the car that we are selling that customers are very, very happy. If we want to transform the automotive industry, for sure we don't, we don't only need to transform the, the industry or the, the customer, we need to transform the dealers as well. And how do we do this? Dealers are having less and less traffic uh, in their showroom, so they need to sell more and more online. Yeah? So what we do is give them customers, which are highly qualified, and we qualify the, the dealers or the customers through an automated, uh, totally automated process, which saves them time, yeah? and at the end, they can build an online reputation for them, for the, for the dealers. At the end, we reward those dealers who are performing better in our platform, yeah? so they can increase their turnover, and at the end, they can sell more and more and more cars with us. How are we going to do this? Uh, with a, a fast executing team, uh, which has a lot of track record in automotive, in my case, and in, in digital, digitalization, in the terms of anti. Uh, we have also created an editorial section, a YouTube channel, uh, which is, let's say, a fresh way of doing this. Uh, we have also uh, we think also that it's a match, a match check for the, for the buyers, and it will help, of course, our organic traffic. At the end of the day, in terms of metrics, where are we? We have more than 800 dealers who already joined our, the platform. We raised 2 million euros uh, a couple of months ago, and uh, we have um, a YouTube channel which is booming with more than 1 million visits. In terms of customers, we have delivered more than 60,000 offers already. We have opened 19 brands, and it's increasing week by week. And we have more than 5.5 million GMB achieved. So uh, for us, Carnot is at the center of the world, for sure. But if you are interested in the project and wants to help us go into the next step, we'll be very happy. 
sorry for the presentation because... <laughs> no, that's our fault. <laughs> Good job. Good job, well done. Any questions from the jury? Gonzalo? Can you tell us a little bit about competition? Especially, especially outside of Spain. Yeah, outside of Spain there are many players. The industry is very, let's say, a little old-fashioned, so everybody's coming to, into the game. In terms of uh, brand new cars, because we're talking here about brand new cars, there are some players in the UK, there are some players in the US, uh, but uh, going to Germany, we want to be leaders in South of uh, Europe and South and Latin America, and there are not a lot of players there. So, Excellent. Thanks, Fran. Good job. Thank you. Thanks, folks. It's amazing to see the stage of development of these companies, right? These are consolidated, lots of funding already received, and lots of customers there, which is great to see. And next up, we have Pablo Fernandez from Click Cars, a car buying and selling marketplace. Pablo, all yours. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Let me start with a question. Have you ever bought or sold a used car? But most importantly, were you completely satisfied with the process? If you think about it, Buying a car is the second most important investment that we make in our lives. And still, the whole process is a huge pain. Research shows that consumers would rather go to the dentist than to the car dealerships. So this is why, 20 months ago, we launched ClickCars, with a purpose of making buying and selling used cars as simple and enjoyable as driving them. What we do? is that we eliminate in-person visits to car dealerships through digitalization and trust. We do the most complete inspection in the market. We take great pictures and videos. We offer free home delivery service and the longest test drive in the market with a full money back guarantee. So in a nutshell, you can buy also your car from home, sitting in your couch, hassle-free. Luckily, our numbers speak by themselves. We started in 2016, and in our first year, we made 5 million in revenues. It was a record in Spain. No one before a startup has achieved that figure in its first year. But we didn't stop there. We have been growing at double digit every single month. And two weeks ago, when we sent this presentation, we raised past the 20 million threshold. And actually, as of today, we're about 25 million. We have delivered all types of cars from more than 35 brands. We even delivered a general hammer across all provinces and islands in Spain, France, Portugal, even to a small village in Morocco. And all this, thanks to our amazing 50 people team. But although we are very happy about these numbers, we are really proud is that we accomplished our mission by delivering the best customer experience in the market. We are also very proud of our investors. We started with the founders of Cover Wallet and Olapic, and also industry executives from the automotive and the financial sectors. But as we wanted to accelerate the disruption of the industry, we onboarded our friends from CIA Ventures that are around here, and also the number one player in Europe in online car sales and one of the largest car manufacturers in the world. So this is the past, but we are here to talk about the future. So what's next for us? If you think about players like Amazon or Tesla, they are completely transforming the retail distribution and the car manufacturing industry. So we want to do the same to the car dealership industry, a two trillion euro industry dominated by old fashioned and traditional players. Our vision is to become the Amazon of used cars. We want to be the number of options for buying or selling a used car online. So do you want to join the future of car buying and selling? Thank you so much. Amazing. Good job, Pablo. Stay there. We're going to take a question from the jury. Stay with yeah. us. We're going to take a question. Thanks. Amazing yeah. progress. Good job. Thank you. Um, any questions from the jury? Yep, yeah, please. Um, so there was a company in the U.S. called BP that tried yeah. this and recently went under. Um, I think they got stuck into sort of holding inventory and guaranteeing the property, guaranteeing the cars. Are you getting into that at all? Are you underwriting the sale? Are you, and, and how, are you, how are you driving liquidity in this marketplace? Yeah, so our model is not the BB model, it's the Carvana model. But as you know, it's a successful model that just did an IPO and they are valued more than three billion right now. So we are, we basically hold the inventory. We turn over the car in, in 40 days, so high rotation. Uh, our units economics, we have a net margin of 5% and we rotate nine times per year. 
and we also do cross selling and financing. So basically, uh, our our model has the inventory risk, but as we don't have the the, the overhead expenses of having the, inf the physical infrastructure, uh, we can't uh, make the unit economic works. Anybody else? Excellent, Pablo. Good job. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. And moving swiftly along, next up we have Javier de la Llave, CEO of Comprea, who's changing how you buy groceries from your super, su favorite supermarkets and getting them more in one hour. Javier, <laughs> Hi, everyone. In Comprea, we take the groceries to your door in one hour. In Spain, food market size is 60 billion euros a year, and just the 1% is being online. In some other European markets, as England, it's already up to the 8%. And that's the trend in Spain for the next few years. Just think about the size of the opportunity. In Comprea, we offer the best user experience in Android, iOS, and web. It's really simple for the clients. Just choose a supermarket, add the products, and receive the order at the time of your choose. The users can also rate their shopper and many other useful and unique features as changing products after placing the order. Behind all of this, we have the real magic. To make it possible, we work with shoppers that give a personal treatment and algorithms that automatize the whole logistic process. We have processes that make daily updates of more than 90,000 products, algorithms that calculate the availability and even set up some discount to be get a better distribution of the orders. And finally, we choose the optimal shopper, top up their cars, optimize the route, and everything is automatic. The technology makes this business scalable reducing the operational cost and increasing the user retention. We are crazy about the data. We measure everything. That's why we, we could improve our conversion funnels and also the processes. Just to give you an example, we even tell the shoppers in which order they have to pick up the products inside the, the supermarket. That way, our shopper add to their cars a product every 24 seconds, allowing them to, to do up to four orders per shopper an hour. We are really, really fast, but as you can see, we are also aware of keeping the quality of the service. With all these data and algorithms, we are able to make up to 800 orders a week with just one supervisor. We started in Valencia in 2015, and nowadays we are in Madrid and Barcelona, offering the service in more than 150 postal codes. Since the beginning, we have had a tech approach. That was the key point of our growth. Increasing three times the marketing budget, we could increase 50 times the sales. And the most important thing, with just seven people in the team. I'm sure that you have a lot of questions about business, about metrics, but I will invite you just to wait five minutes to discover them, all the answers, and also discover a really huge surprise. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks, Javier. Good job. So do you want to take some questions now? Uh, well, I think it will be more interesting to wait just yes, Okay, minutes. excellent. Well, we're going to go straight to the next team, which has a nice relationship with this team, because next on stage is Luis Perez de Val con Lola Market. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Luis Perez del Val. I'm the CEO of Lola Market. Let me tell you a little story. Uh, my wife started working two years ago, um, and basically after having four kids, and she told me, Luis, we have to share home duties. So I asked, what? And, and she told me, you have to do the grocery shopping. So I said, fuck, I'm in a problem. Let's go to Google and see what's there. So the only thing I found was the shitty website of Mercadona and nothing to buy the fresco. So uh, I said, oh, well, I'm in trouble. So I went to the supermarket, and there in the supermarket, the only thing I, I uh, achieved was having minus six points in my driving license. So basically, this is what Lola Market is about. Lola Market is about having a personal shopper that does the grocery shopping for you. You do your first list, and then weekly or monthly, you can uh, repeat it just with, with one click. So, 
Yesterday we announced in, in the South Summit, we announced the, the acquisition of Comprea. With the merge of both, uh, basically we have a fantastic uh, IT team uh, combined with uh, the best um, business model disruption and together we've done the absolute leader in the sector. So this is what we do. We go to the supermarkets, we go to Mercadona, we go to Carrefour, we go to Dia, and we combine them with traditional markets and the, the intermediation of the fresh food with Lola Fresh. So say hello to Lola Fresh. Here is where we have the revenues. Uh, uh, we have a delivery fee, we have a merchant fee, and we have a markup fee. So where our added value is, is basically with Lola Fresh, where we the intermediate uh, with, with the fresh food, also the retail partnerships and the replacement of branded products. And here are our unit economics. Challenging, but they're great. 13.4 uh, gross margin, uh, 10 and, and going up, uh, 10 euros uh, of operations cost and going down. And here's the price body, 3.4 operations margin per order. So now I want the public to help me. <laughs> Say hello. hello. <laughs> so um, here are uh, some of our KPIs. So give me a hey after each KPI. So if the question is, is this company growing? The answer is yes. So, 450 growth, hey. hey. 12 million euros say, gross sales, hey. hey. Leaders in Spain in the e-grocery sector, hey. hey. Three cities, Madrid, Barcelona, and Valencia, hey. hey. Four funding roads, two of them this year, hey. hey. And 32 Phileas Fogg travels around the world by a delivery boys, hey. hey. 250 supermarkets, markets, and treasury shops. Hey! And here the best teams combined together, the business disruption model and the best technological team in Spain with the best backgrounds of all. And here some of our investors, uh, Eduardo diaz Hosleiner, president of Samaipata, Francois Derbe, uh, Plug and Play, Startup Explorer, and some of our partners. So, if you're looking for the winner of the e-grocery in Spain, join Lola Market at Series 8. Thank you very much. Yay! <laughs> good job. Excellent, Louise. Good job and great progress. Thank and you. <laughs> good job. And I love to see this happen, right? A merger, right? Between two startups in the startup competition. That's what South Summit's all about. Finding partnerships and doing business. So congratulations. Thank you very um, much. Jury members, what are you thinking? Questions, queries, doubts? Crystal clear? No risk. <laughs> sure. Um. We're, we're raising now a little extension uh, for, for the round with just closed in, in August for about uh, 1 million. And then Series A will come uh, in parallel uh, probably a couple of uh, months ahead. And that will be like um, 10 million. Any other questions, queries? Excellent, Luis. Thanks a million. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice day. This is great. I'm still blown away with kind of the quality of the company here. This is the fourth edition of South Summit, um, and not only are they getting more international every year, it's getting way more competitive, right? Because, I mean, okay, these are startups, but like these have done serious rounds of funding, have some serious revenue coming through, some awesome metrics. Hey! And uh, <laughs> it's great to see that kind of have amazing t-shirts and teams and everyone cheering them around. And it's just great, right? Because it's amazing to see the, the maturity of the ecosystem here in recent years. And it's all thanks to you guys. So amazing to have you here. And, and next up, without further ado, we have Jordi Greenham, the CEO of Homey, who are changing the long-term rentals revolution. Jordi, all yours. Thank you. Are you ready to process 24 months information in just three minutes? Please. Raise the hand if you have lived the process of renting a property. Thank you very much. Now, those who raised the hand before, please raise the hand again if that process took you less than one hour. Homey made that possible. We allow tenants to rent as simple as ever and landlords to receive protection from our platform. 
I want to show you these three great profiles. Even with their nice background, it was complicated as hell for them to rent a property where they wanted. This is because of the lack of real time and quality information. Landlords, to face this risk, usually requires overprotection. And this only results in everybody losing resource, time, and money. Probably you're asking yourself, why is this happening? And the main reason is asking a collateral as warranty. Homey offers tenant screening, rental collection, payments warranty, and legal protection all in one tool. <clears throat> we, are, we make this process efficient, intelligent, secure, and 18 times faster. Do you remember them? Guess how many days they have been late with their payments in Homey? Zero. Homey is a war machine. We have been growing 35% in our main KPIs, month to month since 2016. As a transaction platform, we charge landlords 25% of the first month rental as access fee and 5% monthly as servicing fee. Unit economics are awesome. We are upfront a huge opportunity. The, ma the market is worth, just considering Europe and America, 1.5 trillion US dollars. And within a deep view of LATAM, we discover really interesting trends. New generations don't want to own a property, and they prefer to rent. Our main advantage is to be global first movers. We are the first platform that offers an end-to-end -end service in long-term rentals, where the main component is data science. This is how we will evolve our predictive mo model towards <laughs> artificial intelligence and machine learning. What makes us unique is our tenant screening tool. Homey was incubated in Numa in 2015, and we received our first investment from Qualcomm and Kasek Ventures last year. Homey is full of talent, and we are very lucky to meet with guys as Fernando Lelo de la Rea, Dan Pacho, and Nicolás Berman once a month in our advisory board. Currently, we are raising our seed round. We, we are about to commit some tickets with the main local funds, but if you are interested in being part of this project, and you can add some value, we can consider a couple of new investments. We are willing to close our investment window at the end of this year. Thank you very much. My name is Jordi, and I am Homie's CEO. Excellent. Good job, Jordi. Well done. Questions from the jury? Concerns? Crystal clear. No risk here. <laughs> Investment ready to go. Jordi, thanks Thank so much. You. Thank Good you very job. much. And it's great to see the new models that are emerging here in e-commerce and marketplaces and on the B2C side of the competition. I think it's really curious because it's not just about the technology. It's not just about having an amazing team. It's really about having a ready market and a route to that market. And I think a lot of the innovations we're seeing here, like this company and also like the next one, is about consumer behavior, right? So at the end of the day, technology can facilitate access to these new markets in a new way of reaching the consumer, maybe a new business model. But it's really about the behavior and how people are thinking about organizing their lives, the different types of values they have. And I think that's curious to see in the property sector and where millennials are maybe thinking differently about home ownership and their investments in the long term. So curious and leading from that one to the next one, also related to construction. And um, next team up is Robert Nagel, the CMO of Houses, who are changing how we invest in real estate. Well, here's Robert. Hi, I'm here to present Housers. So basically, first I present you David. David is a friend of mine, but I'm not going to tell a lot about him because I have only three minutes and that will make too much, stuff, too much stuff. Basically, he had some money saved up and he wanted to know how do I invest that. Basically, he was texting with a friend and said, well, the bank account doesn't give me any interest. The um, stock market is too volatile. And uh, investing in property, I don't have that money, much money and it's too much of a hassle. Well, that's not true anymore. With houses, everybody can be a landlord and everybody can invest in property. Thanks to our online platform, you can invest from 50 euros, it's 100% online, and there's no hassle because houses takes care of everything. And you got a good yields, so typically a 4% yield with a value growth of the underlying property. Our earning model is based on all money flows that go through the, uh, through the platform. So basically, when we publish an opportunity, we earn a fundraise fee. Secondly, when uh, users are earning their 
when users are earning their rent, we are charging a management fee. And basically, when the property is sold in the end of the, um, at the project, we uh, charge a success fee. It's been very working very well. We launched in, uh, in Spain this, uh, uh, two years ago. This year, we opened to Italy and Portugal, and we want to open up to uh, the rest of Europe. We're very happy with our traction, not only in customers, but also in um, money moved through our platform, which has resulted in a good um, acquisition cost. So basically, our acquisition cost is recovered by the benefit that generate the customers in less than six months, which in its turn resulted in uh, very good operational results because we, in June, we already uh, achieved EBITDA uh, break-even before marketing costs, and our business plan for 2018 uh, is considering a bit of positive before marketing cost. We have an ex excellent team. We are already uh, 60 people working at houses, making houses an ex and a success, not only in Spain, but also in, it in Italy and abroad. So basically, how is a sustainable and scalable business model? We're the first, um, first platform that goes uh, into Europe. Uh, we have a positive structural EBITDA, and our, our investor base is not only interesting from our current uh, business model, but also their bank accounts. And bank accounts are very appealing to many financial insurance companies, and we are capturing them at uh, a very low acquisition cost. Well, doesn't go on. Oh, thanks. So basically, why are we uh, fundraising? First of all, we want to continue our expansion into new countries, consolidate the business in the countries we are, and develop new products. We're uh, listed on the Bolsa Valencia in the pre-market uh, segment, and we've just launched uh, this Monday a round on Crowdcube, where we intend to uh, raise between one and three million euros um, via uh, crowd, uh, crowdfunding. If you want to have a look, it's on crowdcube slash housers, and uh, I welcome you to check housers uh, anyway. Thank you for your attention. Good job, Robert. Good job. Excellent to see the progress you guys are making. And so, crowdfunding and investing in the area of construction. Any questions? Yep. Yeah. Can you comment a little bit on the liquidity in the market? Have your uh, houses been sold, the ones that are rented? Has there been any of that yeah. experience already? Yeah, we have had our first, uh, first properties that have been sold, and we have managed to exceed even our initial uh, pre pre uh, projected returns. We have exceeded them, so the, um, there are three uh, properties being sold now, and the average return was about 9%, and we've managed 11% for those properties, so that's uh, very good news. Uh, and um, we, we did a strategic change, well, not strategic, well, we did an operational change from uh, May, which allowed people to uh, enter also the secondary market. So basically, the people who have invested and need their money they would be able to uh, sell their investment to other people, and that way incre increasing the liquidity of the, um, uh, of the platform. So one side is the liquidity of the project itself. So there are different types. There's the investment type, which is usually on short term. So buying a property, um, re uh, re renovating it, and putting it on the market again, uh, or the uh, more uh, rental yield oriented projects where basically we um, offer the, re the rent to the user and uh, the term is more indefinite. Excellent. Any other questions? Cheers. Thanks, Robert. Good job. Well done. Thank you. Excellent. It's amazing to see those guys create a whole new business model, making construction an accessible investment to the mass population and already providing liquidity in a few short years. That's pretty incredible. That's actually faster than most VC firms. So a different type of asset class, I guess, and they're doing very well. So congratulations, guys. So for construction, we are moving to education, um, a sector that I personally am passionate about. It's amazing what can be done now, especially kids of a certain age and the younger generations with technology and new devices and new platforms to change every way for 
from how they're living, how they're nurtured, and how they're actually learning. And so super excited to see what this company is doing. This company is going for some time. Again, another solidated uh, startup here that has some very interesting investors and a track record, and of course, customers and users as well. Next on stage, we have Cristobal Vedma, CEO of Lingo Kids, adaptive learning language platform for kids between two and six. Hello. Oh, here's Cristobal. <laughs> Sorry. This is my niece. She's five years old and Spanish like me. You can imagine how much I worry about her English. So we found some apps to try to help her learn it, but she found them extremely boring. So we created Lingo Kids, English learning for children. It's basically a platform with tons of content, games, videos, songs, audiobooks, but also real life classes with native English speakers. We have several partners that are helping us distributing it, and we are selling it as a subscription, charging between $10 to $60 per month. This has helped us to grow very nicely, 25% month over month cumulative over the last 18 months, hitting over a quarter of a million dollars last month in sales. And just 18 months after launching the platform, $1.3 million in annual recurring revenue. Best of all, there is no payback period. We recover every investment on day zero. So the content marketplace is basically, we develop some of the content, kind of like what Netflix does, but also we license from partners like Oxford University Press, Dream English, um, What's English, and Key Boomers. And we have over 400 learning activities in our platform. We keep adding one every single day. So we developed an algorithm to basically recommend the best learning activities to our children, but also uh, um, combine it with live classes through video. Now, we have a very strong track record. I was the head of platform at Viki with a uh, $200 million exit. Uh, we have people like Suzanne, VP of Learning uh, on our company, and she was the board member at, at YouTube for Kids. We have really good investors, like the president of SpaceX, one of the best investors in the US, best venture partners, and top two investors in Europe, half Ventures. Now, with a quarter of a million dollars in sales last month, 25% month over month growth, 24,000 subscribed paying customers, and over $1.3 million in annual recurring revenue, we are up to create a start. But the most important thing, my niece, she's finally learning English and on track to become one of the greatest scientists of the world. Thank you. Thanks, Christopher. Good job. Excellent. Yeah. Um, questions, queries from the jury? Gonzalo? No. Okay. Yep, Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Yes, <laughs> okay. Uh, congratulations for the presentation. Are you looking for funding now? No, we just closed a $4 million funding like uh, several weeks ago. Yeah. So all set. Now you all set for the next year, yes. Got to spend next that money year well. Again. <laughs> Excellent, brilliant. Thanks, Christopher. Thank you. Good job. Um, amazing to see how just kids at that age and that generation are now engaging with technology and you know making learning fun and actually keeping them really engaged and letting them learn languages from any part of the world, right? So super exciting to see. Um, and we're almost there, two super exciting companies yet to see in this B2C track. As I mentioned earlier, the winner of this track is going to be announced here on this stage at 2.10, just before lunch today. And the jury are going to have a tough decision, guys, because there's some really interesting companies here and that are at a super interesting stage of development in massive markets. So the ultimate decision is going to be down to the jury members here in the first row. And um, so moving swiftly along, the next company we have today is Shopiday, a cash back, offering you cash back at online stores. I'm presenting this company as Juan Luis Rico, the co-founder and CEO. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are a cashback platform where people can uh, earn money with their purchases, both in online stores and also in local merchants in the main cities. Main issues we are solving is something that uh, probably all of us have experienced. Uh, we are exhausted of receiving emails with offers. Discounts have lost attractiveness when they are permanent and they, they have a, a poor uh, customer experience. And also loyalty programs used to be usually uh, closed programs where you just earn points. So we are solving all of these problems uh, with this uh, new proposal where people earn money. You can purchase wherever you want. There's no points. And the experience, the customer experience is just the same 
as a full price customer. You uh, act like a regular customer, but you have in exchange real money, your money. Here is the video that we have right now on, on TV. Sorry. Imagina cobrar por las pequeñas cosas que nos dan placer. Esas cositas no son por las que ganamos dinero. Ahora, comprar con Shopee Day es un placer por el que sí vas a cobrar. Compra en tus tiendas favoritas y recibe un porcentaje de lo que gastes en tu cuenta corriente. Es real y sin trucos. Shopee Day, gana dinero con tus compras. Ok, how it works? Uh, we work as an affiliate uh, and I'm connected with uh, many integrated uh, networks, many networks that connect us with online stores. We share our CPA, the commission we get from the store, with the customer. So that's why we give people real money. We have tested the model with local merchants in an app where you can purchase and pay in the app at the local merchant. And the money that the people get can be transferred for free to the bank account or can be used to do payments in the app. We have a website and an app. We start operations in January. Uh, right now we have more than 500 online stores of top brands, more than 800 local merchants, a huge conversion rate because we have many, many stores and a, a huge assortment. And we have uh, surpassed 100 uh, euros of GMV per month. Right now, we are focused on online stores and growth, both in the media campaign and also by referrals uh, with bloggers and, and, and a member get member program. Second uh, step is to focus on local merchants. We have a great value proposition for the local merchants and partner with retailers. We can uh, both partner in online and offline, and also with a bank in order to launch credit card link offers. Our value proposition is great for the people. You earn money, you have freedom, you purchase whatever you want. Once you have tried it, there's no reason not to do it again. The more you use it, the more money you get. We have a big opportunity. People are buying online more and more. There's still to come the winning solution for local merchants uh, in Spain and in many, many markets. And there's no other player offering cashback both online and offline. We have a great team of huge experience in online, in startups and in growth. Uh, Victor Guardiola, uh, former CTO of Atrapalo, a well-known figure in the PHP community. Vic, uh, Ricardo, who is right there, uh, with key positions in companies like Showroom Privé, Van Privé, or Let's Bonus. Myself, I was the former CEO and co-owner of Let's Bonus. And Miguel Vicente, the chairman, uh, co-founder of many, many companies that you probably all know. Our main investors are Anti Venture Builder and Entry Capital. Thank you very much. Excellent. Good job, Juan Luis. Excellent to see your progress there. Questions, queries? Doubts from the jury? Can you share the unit economics? Yes. <clears throat> what we do is uh, we charge a commission uh, to the online store. It depends on the store. Uh, the, 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 the bigger and the, the more known the brand, the lower commission that the store requires. But the real thing is that most all of the online stores work with affiliates and, and this commission can be 10%, 12%, depending. What we do is we share it with the customer. So the net commission for us in cashback um, is around 4 or 5%. On top of that, we have online discounts where we, uh, the customer has a discount when paying at the online store because the payment is always at the online store. And uh, because of that uh, benefit for the customer of paying less, we get 100% the CPA. Okay? And on the local merchant side, we, we charge an average commission of 7%. Our customer acquisition cost, right now we are um, having a CPI of uh, less than 0.5 euros uh, uh, per, per app installed and around two, two euros per registered user. 
Uh, right now, we are also in a media campaign. So we are having uh, TV, uh, radio, and, and press. And we are also uh, entering with uh, um, influencers uh, here in Spain uh, in order to explain the model directly to their followers. Excellent. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, folks, and we're almost done. There's only one company left in the B2C track. As mentioned, these guys have been competing against multiple companies. We've had 10 different tracks participating in all the 10 different industries here at South Summit this year and coming from a selection of 3,500 companies from all over the world that we're applying to get here. Just so you understand a little bit the selection process, how we work as they all come onto the platform early in January right through till May, and then we have about 200 evaluators at the back end of that platform from ecosystem experts, VC firms, both in Spain, outside of Spain, corporate venture firms, innovation teams from the corporate partners at South Summit, a wealth of experience reviewing every single application. I think every application gets looked at three or four times to make sure we're getting the right teams here. And then we go to presential committees during the summer where we all sit down and we look at these companies, the final 400 shortlist, and then we get to our, our final 100. So it's really exciting to see them make this journey and get here over the kind of eight, nine months of work that that entails. And none of that would be possible if it wasn't thanks to our wonderful jury members. So I just wanted to acknowledge now at this point before we finish the competition, and um, we have Gonzalo Hello from Faraday participating here. We have Silvia from Endesa. We have Jonathan from Catapult VC and Ignacio Fons Tamien from Inver Ready. So a round of applause, please, for the jury for being here today and making all of this happen as well. Now, before we go to our final startup, um, we're back to education. And I'd like to introduce Ben Romero, who's going to present the Epic School. Hi everyone, my name is Benjamin Romero. I am the CEO and co-founder of the Epic School. I've always dreamed of learning from the best, but uh, it wasn't possible because my family came from a little town and I didn't have the resources to travel to the best schools in the world. Like me, there is a huge generation of millennials trying to and willing to learn from their heroes. The traditional school model is dead. It is proven that at least 50% of the learning efficiency has to do with engagement. We have solved it. We know that with the learning teachers and content factors, we can do it. And we solve it, putting in place the learning uh, with the things that interest you, uh, teachers that are the best, and also with the approach of learning by doing. On top of this, we have found a way to create an alternative monetization model for top world influencers. And we do this creating courses that are premium with one of the top engaging uh, online learning platforms in the market and also giving our teachers a marketing strategy. Our business model is for our fans' customers, one payment to access one of the courses of their choice. And also we create uh, branded courses for brands that want to reach young audiences. This is an unsell market that presents a huge opportunity. It's 2 billion worldwide of people, 240 million just in Europe and the USA. And this year, the e-learning market is estimated that will uh, generate more than $250 billion. We are a very early stage startup, but making money from the day one. 80% of our students come from the USA and also from Europe. We have 3,500 total students, 20% paying for a full course, and also top influencers with global audiences are joining us every month. The opportunity is huge and is for us and for the VCs already on board, and our main competitor, Masterclass, has recently raised 14, uh, th sorry, $35 million. We are very privileged also because we want to, to uh, close 50 more talents for the next month that will bring 50 million followers uh, that will help to activate our brand. And this means that we will mo have more, than, uh, more fans than Nike has everywhere. We are very privileged uh, with our team of experts and social so investors. Our founder has extensive experience in investment and also in startups. He has 
raised more than 14 million euros in private and public funds, uh, leading his impact accelerator. And I've also created a, a tech startup previously in London. And our investors are top industry players, uh, such as the CEO of Sonar Festival, the digital director of GE, and also the manager director of ISDI Business School. We are pre-seed funded and won some awards. And we are really pleased to meet investors and potential partners. And let me tell you that this is the beginning of a revolutionary story about people empowerment. Thank you. Gracias, muchísimas gracias y enhorabuena por todo lo que habéis desarrollado hasta la fecha. Eh, preguntas, dudas, consultas. Sí, ya no. Um, can you talk a bit about your vetting process to onboard new celebrities or luminaries, whoever yes. you're using as your content creators? Okay, so we have uh, chosen a criteria to select our celebrities and teachers coming to the platform by territory, engagement, and also the number of followers of their communities. We, we have a, a process with our CRM where we store more than 4,000 uh, celebrities already, and also we have an algorithm that read the uh, channels, the social media channels, are select, uh, make a preselection of those uh, celebrities for us to contact them and start a negotiation process. And what categories are you getting most traction in? Well, at the moment, we have three current courses that are mainly sports and dancing, and that's the main traction, but we have two more courses launching this uh, next week. Uh, they are about music, and we uh, also expect to, to publish courses about uh, gastronomy, magicians, and other more topics. Excellent. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Good job. Well done.